Between 1795 and 1830, the cost of the poor rates, a tax collected and administered at the parish level to provide relief for the poor, increased from two to nearly eight million pounds. In response, in February 1832, a Royal Commission was appointed to investigate the operation of the old poor law system and to make recommendations as to how savings could be made. The Commission's report was scathing about the provision of outdoor relief, that is, payments made without the need for a stay in the workhouse. This, the Commissioners concluded, was easily abused, with many able-bodied poor taking advantage of the system to avoid working. Profuse allowances excite the most extravagant expectations on the parts of the claimants, who conceive that an inexhaustible fund is devoted to their use and that they are wronged to the extent of whatever falls short of their claims. Providing relief in such cases was described as a bounty on indolence and vice. The recommendations of this report became the provisions of the Poor Law Amendment Act of 1834, also known as the New Poor Law. Outdoor relief was no longer to be given to the able-bodied poor. All but the sick and aged, and sometimes not even them, would have to receive relief in the workhouse. Conditions in the workhouses were deliberately made worse than those experienced by the average independent labourer. This was to remove the alleged incentive to claim for relief out of idleness. The Act also overhauled the administrative system for managing poor relief. 600 poor law unions with locally elected boards of guardians were set up, each to have its own workhouse. Poor law commissioners were empowered to order workhouses to be built, altered or enlarged, and a centralised board was established to enforce the same standards across England and Wales. The new poor law was highly controversial. Critics like William Cobbett were appalled that the government was looking to make savings from the poor rates rather than address its own waste and corruption. Others derided what the Act said about attitudes towards the poor and condemned the new workhouses as poor law bastilles. 